So are we filming? Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Mike and I'd like to show you how to do a colored glass job uh, using solar res. I don't see how you cannot use it. Using the solar res, you go out in the sun and you can cook it in the sun as long as you want. As opposed to catalyzed resin, once you, once you put the catalyst in the resin, you've got so much time and that's it. With the solar res, you can stop. You take it out of the sun and put it back in the shady room and the, the process stops. And that really will help when we want to come back and uh, cut the lap. When you're dealing with a glass, you're glassing a surfboard, a good idea is to take the tape and then twist it around and then just put it like that. You put the sticky side out. This will grab the board and keep it from sliding on you. You want the racks to be pretty much level because it, it is a liquid. Clean off the blank first because I have to do some taping. Just follow the rail curve. Just to be on the safe side, I'm going to go around this one more time. There. Now that's the hardest part of the thing right there. This is what I'll be using. Uh, solar res laminating resin. The resin is pre-mixed. It comes in a, a standard form and you, you can deal with it uh, on a regular basis, it isn't going to change on you as opposed to mixing your own with some of those powders that are out there as you can over powder it, you can under powder it, this, is, this stuff is consistent. You'll notice I have uh, gray reflective uh, tarps. David, what are you doing outside buddy? You're not supposed to be outside, you big dog. I'm going to lift this up a little bit in case I, in case I get sloppy. How are we doing so far? Uh, what I'm going to do now is put the uh, get the fiberglass on the board and cut it so I can lap it and then I'll mix up the resin and off we go. And when you cut the glass you want to give yourself a little bit of extra because of the curve to lap over the tape. It gives you something to uh, hold on to when you come back and cut it with the razor blade. There. Don't forget the nose. Don't forget the nose. Okay, here. And that little bit off there. And here comes the fun part. And the beauty of this stuff, what you don't use, you can save for later. Got some uh, white pigment I borrowed from a friend of mine. This is be the this is just regular old pigment that you can buy in any surf shop. Okay, now I'm going to put the color in the resin. It doesn't take a whole lot. It's important to really mix it in. Yeah. Let's see. Mm, that should be a creamy yellow look. Okay, let's see what we got here. Methyl ethyl ketone. It's regular surfboard resin catalyst. Just a whisper. Hardly any at all. Normally to do a board like this, you'd probably use about 15 or 20 cc's and would give you about five minutes to work with it before it got hard. Now if I was just using regular resin with that small amount of calluses, it would probably never go off. Okay, here comes the hard part. I thought it was the fun part. <laughs> the fun part, is that what I'm supposed to say? And you want to make sure that the resin goes off the rails and soaks all that overhang, the part that you got to lap. Okay. What I'm doing now is just uh, got the board saturated and I'm just working the resin into the fiberglass. And I'm going to take the rest of this resin and save it. And I've got a plan. Now put this in here out of the sun. Okay. And this is where you just kind of put it, smooth it all out. And we want to press from the center out, not too hard because you'll you'll dry it out, but just enough to get all the the liquid off. 
All you want to do is coat the fiberglass. And then we go back and lap the rails. And this is where the tape comes in. And since it's not really catalyzed, I mean not in the, the regular sense, I, there's no real hurry. If it was a catalyzed board, I'd have to, I got a certain amount of time and then all this liquid will just turn into a solid, a big a gooey mess. If you've ever did one that's gone off on you, you know. Yeah, we can always, when you're doing the fiberglass, always go from the center out. That way you won't, you, they won't bunch up on you, and won't you, they won't be, you won't be tugging on it. Okay. There we go. Just a little bit. Got to get all that excess off. Uh, this is just regular acetone that you buy at the hardware store. And it's, uh, it's basically a paint thinner for a resin. And put it in the sun. Now what will happen is the, the UV rays will bounce off of the uh, asphalt and they'll partially cook the underneath a little bit. If I were to just let this sit out here for about five minutes, it would get so hard that it would be near impossible to cut the fiberglass with the razor blade. So I just want it to be, want it to be hard but still flexible. You can see that? Can you see that, Larry? It's it's gone off, but it's still flexible. See, that's pretty. That's pretty good right there. And I'll cook the top just a little bit. You can always cook it more. Lee, it's still a little tacky. Just be as careful as you can and just follow the tape. When I get back on this side, I'll be ready to lift it up. Just take your time. Don't go too far into the blank because it'll just make the board weaker. An eighth of an inch at the most. Yeah, that should be it. Just to be on the safe side, I'll take this slow and make sure everybody's cut. I have to take it back out into the sun and finish cooking it. Probably another three or four minutes to get it as hard as it's gonna be. And then I can come back and I sure form and sand down these little edges where the folds are, and then we do the top. Actually, that works pretty good. But the sander's much quicker. And I'm just gonna touch it up a little bit. What I'm going to do now is tape off these rails so when I apply the resin it doesn't stain them. I'm going to do a foam stain deck inlay. If you put a foam stain, if you stain the resin with, I mean stain the blank with just resin before you glass it again and cook it, it creates a really hard crust and it makes the boards a heck of a lot stronger. Oh, man, check, uh, you can see that there's no places where the resin will leak through. It's created more, more work for you later on. There. Let's see if it's still good. Heck yeah. Okay, I'm going to add a little more white to this. Just to make it a slightly lighter shade. This is less left over from the uh, bottom glass job. And I'm going to put a little bit of catalyst in it too. I'm just going to coat the foam with this uh, lighter shade of yellow. And it'll just make the board that much stronger. 
Okay, one final little run. Let's get all the excess off, make it nice and smooth. See, look at that beautiful two-tone. There, two-tone yellow. Pull it outside for the final cook. After this sits in the sun for about five minutes, you can come back and just do a free lap with clear resin and it avoid, you avoid all that taping off on the bottom. And you can also put your logos on it too under the clear glass. Because when it's opaque, you, you can't put anything on it because you can't see it. Looks pretty cool, huh? This thing is bulletproof. When I put the double four ounce on it, this board is gonna be so strong.